Hello everyone, this is Kyle from Mantic Games and I am here today to talk to you about the upcoming Clash of Kings 2025 edition. If you're unfamiliar with Clash of Kings, it is an annual supplement for Kings of War that adds on to the existing Kings of War Red rulebook. This book will supersede everything that was in the prior year, so all the prior information from Clash of Kings 2024 will also be found in 2025 with additional updates. Inside, we introduce new lore and background information, and this year especially for the Trident Realm and Forces of the Abyss. There are also standard balance tweaks for all factions in the game, providing everyone with an opportunity to get a nice refresh and potentially tone down some things that are a little bit too much. We take feedback from place testers and events all around the world to make sure that we have the most balanced game possible. This year, we also decided to take an extra little spice and introduce a concept known as Command Dice. Inside, you'll find rules for how to use these command dice and how they could potentially add feedback and additional flavor to your games. Right now, they're optional, and we're looking for your feedback to see if this is something that we want to carry into Kings of War into the future. Panathor is still a setting that is full of mystery and magic, and as a growing and ever-expanding world, we take the opportunity with these Clash of Kings books to introduce new background material for a variety of factions, but also to show a spotlight on where the main conflict is happening in Panathor at this given time. This year, we took the opportunity to look at the forces of the Abyss and the Trident Realm. So the beginning of the book is full of a wealth of knowledge that expands on the Trident Realm and forces of the Abyss. Players of those two factions and fans of the World of Panathor are gonna love this section because there's quite a bit to build upon and expand in that world. We also worked with Christian Byrne, who did some fantastic artwork for both of the factions, and this is something that we can carry forward into Kings of War throughout the future. It's something that I think that we're very excited about because people are constantly asking us to expand on the feel and the background, all those critical elements, and Clash of Kings does that in spades. Perhaps the most exciting part of the Clash of Kings book are the balance tweaks, and this is really important to both Mantic and the community because we want Kings of War to be the most balanced fantasy war game on the market. What we do is we collect data from both our playtesters, our online communities, and tournaments out there and see what is going on in the scene and understanding where the game needs to be tweaked. It's important that we give tweaks to all factions across the board, that way everyone is updated all at once and no one is left in the dust. So it's a critical element of Kings of War that all factions are updated all at once and that we're looking at the edge cases of what maybe is overperforming or underperforming and giving tweaks to those things. A special thanks to our rules committee and playtesters who have done a phenomenal job of tirelessly working and constantly looking at all the data and customer feedback, player feedback, everything in between that gives us an idea of where we need to go. It's very important that the general and player in Kings of War is really the determining factor and not necessarily broken rules. All right, it's time to talk about Command Dice. These are something that are a part of many Mantic games and we feel creates a separation from other games in the market and allows Mantic games to shine as unique. So with Kings of War, it's been missing and we wanted to give it a shot and third edition in an optional way that you're highly encouraged to give us feedback on, try out and see if they're going to work. As I mentioned, they're, they're incredibly balanced. They were balanced by both our playtesters and rules committee, and they are meant for competitive play, unlike some other elements of Kings of War that are optional. So this is something that we wanted to introduce and make it so that the points that were tweaked for all the army lists and otherwise had nothing to do with command points. So you're gonna get a base set at the start of the turn to roll, as well as an additional set that you can purchase for each of your heroes. These purchasable upgrades are then correlated to a certain die, and that allows you to play the game with them or without them without changing the base stats. Once you've generated your command points, then it's time to spend them for maximum effect. We wanted these to be things that were available to all players, so there is a universal list that you can pick from that do some basic things such as tweaking a couple of damage or two hit rolls, as well as some really cool ones such as maneuvering and repositioning, allowing you to sidestep your full speed, for example, or backstep your full speed. These are great ways for maneuverability and some agency to the player once things have clashed and gotten a little crazy on the battlefield. There are also two faction specials for each of the factions in the game, and they are generally an offensive and a defensive ability. And these are a little bit more powerful because they're unique to the factions, but they really capture the flavor. You will see some repeated ones throughout the factions because we wanted to maintain balance as much as possible. But these each provide the player with a, a wonderful opportunity to do some really fun stuff and spend a little bit of those command points to just add a little bit of extra spice to what they're doing in the game. 
So in summary, this Clash of Kings book brings a wealth of new lore and art into the world of Panathor, the standard balance tweaks that are provided for all factions, as well as the printed list for both the Forces of the Abyss and the Trident Realm, bringing them up to date and in line with everyone else, and then the introduction of Command Dice, which are a fun new way to add some extra mechanics and fun into your games and keep things fresh and interesting. So thank you everyone, the Clash of Kings book is going to be available for pre-order and will be shipping later in October in 2024. Pick up your copies as soon as you can. Thanks guys!